So, this is where we're at. This is where humanity stands now with this guy. So, you know me. I was just, uh, you know, browsing YouTube, looking what, oh, look, look what was next on the internet, you know, trying to figure out some good games like Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm about to be playing that game the day it comes out. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see it. I have a PlayStation now. So, yeah, I recommend you guys do play that. I mean, watch my videos when I do make them. Yeah. So, yeah, I was just looking up stuff about that. And I, know that, and I realized that Days Gone By is going to come out any time now. So, I was super high. I was like, yo, Days Gone By about to hit. It's about to hit. It's about to be lit. It's about to be everything. I was just searching to be the happy. And you guys want to know what ruined that? This guy. This guy. I read his title. I was like, "Days gone by is dying." I looked. I looked at this man like, "Is he serious?" So I was like, "You know what? I gotta react to this." I'm four. I can't believe I'm four days late on this. So without further ado, let's get on in. Hey Siri. Michael. Should I buy Days Gone? Why are you asking Michael, Siri? I'm not sure what to say. Oh, there you have. I know dang well this guy did not just ask Siri, is day should I buy Days Gone By? That's how you know. That's how you know, guys. Siri can't even give me an answer as to why I should buy Days Gone. Don't let these Sony fanboys come out of the woodwork and convince you to buy such a mediocre product. Because, folks, what I'm going to do here today, and I know this isn't what you want to hear, but... Mediocre? You dang right this, is what, this isn't what I want to hear because it's not mediocre. Have you seen the graphics? Have you seen the gameplay? Have you seen the mechanics? Have you seen, have you seen the world? Have you seen everything that they're here to see about days gone by? I'm pretty sure you haven't. So I highly recommend you go back and watch Sony's videos. Because it's pretty obvious that you haven't done that. Sir? What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to give you three reasons as to why Days Gone is in the shitter. And I'm about to give you three reasons why you're wrong. So sit back, relax, because it's time to play ball. <laughs> and stop doing stupid, silly crap like that. Let's get started, folks. But you Number just one, did it. And this is a big one. This is my biggest problem with this game here at Days Gone. Number one, folks, this game brings nothing new to the table. It's a very, very, very cookie-cutter open-world experience that brings nothing new to the table. And yet you all are so excited about this bullshit. Wow. What can we do here really in Days Gone? We can climb towers. Woohoo! We can mark enemies. Woohoo! We can craft. Woohoo! Really? Who in the right mind wants to do that bullshit in 2019? It's as if the devs didn't know how to make a game, so they said, okay, we gotta make an open world game, right? How do we do it? Let's look at these shitty open world Ubisoft games and incorporate all of these features and mechanics that okay, we're following. Okay, first of all, let me, let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there, Michael. Sony's games are bad. I'm not sure. There may be a couple games in the list that are kind of bad, but let me get this straight. They did a magnificent job on Spider-Man PS4. They did a great job on. They get a. They did a great job on God of War 4, and they're doing a great job on Days Gone. So, and let me get this straight. Spider-Man PS4 was a great open world game. But I'm pretty sure you got your doubts about that too, huh? The open world Ubisoft games and throw them into our game here at Days Gone. And it shows. Cookie cutter. Bland. Dull. Boring. Mundane. And I know, again, it's not what you want to hear because you're going to go... <laughs> Again, it's time for a reality check. One that you, yes, you desperately need. We move on me. to our second reason here today, folks. And it's a big one. The devs behind Days Gone, they don't have the experience that I think, anyway, that they desperately need. 
the only thing that they have under their belt is siphon filter. And let me tell you something right here right now, folks. Siphon filter was so many years ago. I'm sure that the people that worked on those siphon filter games no longer work at that damn studio. So essentially, they have no experience, especially developing an open world game. And the last games that they... They got more experience than you. Let me find out you know how to make an open world game. Let me find out if you can court battle mechanics. Let me find out if you can make graphics. Let me find out if you can do that, Michael. Made were these stupid, silly PlayStation Vita. Let me find out you're the head CEO no of Sony. Played. You really think that this is gonna be unbelievably amazing when the devs have I'm absolutely sure no experience to craft something memorable? Come on, folks! <laughs> Sony fanboy, Craig Miller sent to buy the game. That's where you guys are at. And last but not least, folks, the only reason, and I'm just being rude with you here, the only reason why you care about this game is because it is PlayStation exclusive. If Days Gone were multiplayer, or if Days Gone were only... I know dang well he didn't just go there. He went there, guy. I... Did, did he go there? I'm pretty sure he just went there. I really didn't want him to go here. Yeah, me either. He... He's an Xbox fanboy. I should have known the moment I clicked on this video. I should have known the moment I clicked on this video. On Xbox, y'all wouldn't care. But since it's PlayStation exclusive, you're like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm foaming at the mouth. <laughs> That's what you guys do. And it's so sad because days gone is in the shitter. We love the internet. But the internet. Hold the heck up. I don't want to see any of those ads. Get the heck out of my face. Okay. So. <laughs> I see the confusion. He's an Xbox fanboy. Which is actually not quite ironic because Xbox fanboys are extremely, some of them, some of Xbox fanboys, because I'm not trying to offend anybody, some of the Xbox fanboys are actually pretty hateful. But let me just put it in a way like this, bro. Xbox is trash. PS4 is better. Stop hating. That's all I'm saying. Like, this guy Michael makes it seem like to me, he makes it seem like Xbox should have everything. That Xbox should be the only goddamn console out there. In reality, it really should. This man has no idea what he's talking about. Like, if this is where Xbox fanboys are going nowadays, I understand, Michael, you're doing it for the views. But please, don't say games is trash when Xbox games are no better. What you play? What you doing? Playing the playing the the Last of Us Two? I'm pretty sure you are, man. Granted, the Last of Us Two is actually looking pretty good right now, but I bet that's all you do playing because because that's on, that's one of the only games that I see that are looking pretty good out there. Besides Halo. So yeah. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. Number one. Days Gone looks pretty good. Great. Dude, you're doing a great job. So let me keep up the good work. Number three. I will be playing Sekiro, Sekiro Shadows Die twice on the moment it comes out. Which will be next Friday when I get the game. And I will be playing that game. So I hope all y'all looking forward to that. So this is Ninja Blackstar T. I'll be signing off. See all y'all later. Peace.